This operation attracted many people and veterinarians all over the hospital came to see it live being removed. So the nose is an organ where if it has been penetrated by a butterfly it doesn't need surgery to get rid of but still causes one of the biggest damages. Luckily, this one wasn't so big and was smoothly removed. This kitten has been presented to this veterinarian as being sick out of having this massive living creature moving in and out out of her neck. The owner at first sight was shocked to see it, but knew what was going on after giving a call to her local vet. She found out that it's a butterfly larvae that has been growing there for so long until now. This lovely creature is a cutorebral larvae found in the neck of a cat. Cutorebral larvae are parasites that can infect dogs and cats. They come from rabbit butterflies and can infect animals when they pass through an area that has butterfly eggs. The eggs hatch in response to the heat of the animal. These little things can cause simple infections just under the skin of the infected animal or can even travel and cause neurological signs. Compared to her size, I would say the kitten's life is in danger, but with a professional vet tech like this one, it's safe to say that the operation is a success and the kitten is blessed again with good health. We had a very sick but brave kitten come into the rescue recently that needed to have a butterfly removed from her neck. Know that it is out, she is feeling much better and is recovering as an office kitten right now. That is what we're gonna smack. You're so brave! Removing this big cutie bra from Seymour's nostril. Seymour is a cute cat who goes frequently outside and finally got a big bump on his nose and turned out to be a cutie bra. Luna here putting the cute in cutie bra this morning. Sound off y'all so you don't hear Dr. Gertrude audible scream. Cutie bra larval infection caused by rodents or rabbit butterfly larvae is most commonly seen in late summer or early fall and may affect dogs, cats or frets. A definitive diagnosis is made by finding and identifying a larvae. And treatment is manual extraction of the parasitic part. So the lesion is cleaned and allowed to heal by granulation. This poor bunny has been suffering all the way until now you can see a big horrific hole in her body and there is actually a living butterfly in it. So the vet tech puts on a lubricant to make it easier for the butterfly to slide out and minimize the suffering. First put a little hydrogen peroxide to kind of agitate it a little bit. Let's see if we see the head of it or anything pulsate a little bit in there. So now you can see, see it went in a little deeper, so we're going to have to kind of use a hemostat to see if we can get around it and grab the whole thing. There we go, I think I got it. 
And voila. <laughs> oh my God. A warble was removed from a chihuahua this morning. This appointment had everyone in awe today. The complaint was that the dog had a bug bite on her belly. They certainly didn't expect this. Inside the swollen area was a kiruribra, also known as the butt fly. fun things I get to do in my daily life. Little bot fly. We see them in rabbits. Hold still, baby. Hold still. There you go. We're going to remove him from his home. Cute rebra infection might be detectable by swelling below the surface of the skin. Your cat may also show signs associated with the larvae migrating with their tissue. The usual symptoms of the cuterebra will be a raised opening in the lump so that the maggot may breathe. So your veterinarian will be able to safely remove the maggot if it's in its migratory stage and has settled into a spot on the body. This little kitten has this newborn cuterebra. We would say that it's about a week old that infiltrated right, the nose and went on growing little by little until the owner noticed that it's filled and struggles to breathe, but took immediate action and removed it. Bye bye, professional vision. After finding out that the hole found in the cat's neck is actually a butterfly that was inhabiting it, the vet sedated the cat to calm it and not make it ruin the operation. Once it got unconscious, she's been laid on her back and the spot of the butterfly was shaved so it was clean and easier to remove. 